Welcome to the Easy News Global Search tutorial video. I'll walk you through the main features of the global search, show you how to find images and videos, and how to easily and quickly assemble the files you download into a working file for you to enjoy. To start, log into the Easy News Global Search page to search across all available news groups. Here you are given a lot of different options to find the information you're looking for. The type area will filter your search results by file type. Just click the appropriate box next to the file type you'd like to search for. If you are searching for something that you know was recently uploaded, set the date and time boxes accordingly to filter out any posts that were not updated within that frame of time. A file can be uploaded in many different sizes, some small and low quality, while others may be uploaded in high definition with a large file size. If you'd like to set this input field, only the format you want will come back in your search results. As you can see, there are also many other fields you can use to narrow your search results, but we'll just do a very basic search for now. In the Keywords field, I'll type in the term I want to search for. And I only want a picture of a sunset, so I'll select Images Only. And because Easy News has a preview thumbnail option available, I'll be sure to check Only Show Valid Thumbnails, so I'll be able to see a preview of what the file looks like without having to download the entire file first. Now I'll click Search, and in seconds, Easy News has returned over 4,700 sunset photos for me to choose from. But wait, where are the thumbnail previews? Not to worry. Right now you're on Standard View. Click Thumbs to activate the thumbnail preview. And there you have it. Your images are displayed below. Okay, so images are easy, but what if you want to download a video? Just like before, we'll enter a search term. Set the search type to video and click search. Our search will kick back a match. A dialog box will appear and ask you if you'd like to open the file or save it to your computer. I'll go ahead and open it with my default media player. The content will load and then you can just sit back and enjoy the show. So what if the content I've downloaded is split into multiple files? How do I view it then? I'll show you. So in this instance, I'll download a large file. Just like before, I'll enter my search term and click search. Easy News will kick back the search results, and I'll go ahead and click check all. And then I'll use the zip function to download all of the files I selected to one folder on my computer. Selecting zip will open up a new window, the zip manager screen. In the top row, I'll see the files I selected in a bunch. If I want to go ahead and download these files, I'll simply hit the download button. Once the download completes, the files will be zipped up and sent to a place on my computer that I can specify. In this case, they went to my desktop. I'll double click the zip file to uncompress it. The folder will appear with its contents uncompressed. Click on the folder to open it. And there are the files that you downloaded. So what do you do with all these different files? First, let's go over what these files are. The most common type of Usenet archive file is a RAR file. This type of file is used because it does a great job of compressing and splitting large files. RAR files are easily identified on news groups, as they are typically numbered in sequence. Both the new format and the old format are widely used today. When a large file is compressed with RAR, it must be posted to a news group in pieces. The more pieces there are, the more likely some may not come through completely intact. To solve this problem, PAR files were invented. PAR files can fix and recreate missing files, so it's always a good idea to download the associated PAR files with your download, if there are any. You can download software to assemble the files for use. If you use a Mac, you should try MacPAR Deluxe, which you can download for free. If you operate on Windows, try WinRAR. There are other options available, so you can research and select one that suits your individual needs. In this demonstration, I'll be using MacPAR Deluxe, but if you're using different software, don't worry. Directions are very similar among different assembly software. Refer to the software's help file or support section if you get stuck. To demonstrate assembling files, I've uploaded some test files to work on. I see that all parts 1 through 19 are there, so I'll go ahead and check them all and hit Zip. And this will open up the Zip Manager in a new window. Notice the 19 files are sitting in the queue waiting to be downloaded. I'll hit Download to start the process. A new screen will pop up asking what I'd like to do with the file. I'll save this file to my computer so I can assemble it for viewing. When the files are finished zipping up, I'll double click on the zip file to uncompress it. I'll open my assembly software. For MacPAR Deluxe, I click Open and browse for my files. The program will begin checking the file for errors and will automatically turn the files into your finished video. 
If you have any additional questions on your global search or any of the features Easy News offers, you can always contact us at support at easynews.com or check out our support form online at support.easynews.com.